kuzese zolu berebelie, mwokwambulo mtu wa wedda, avunda, uluwa kwe gombo kwa bulimba. Elo kufuka wajia, mwoyo kwe bilo wazo vya mwe. Okwambalo mtu wa mwajia, e atuende wa mchifana nyi chakatonda, mbutu kilifu, ne mbutu kufu uwa mazima. Bili niyod. Zibu wajia. In the spirit of your mind. Mwoyo kwe bilo wazo vyo. Put off. Weyambuli. Concerning your former conversation. Conduct. No, it is not possible. No, it cannot be. Who told you? With God, all things are possible. Put off your former conduct. Conversation. People, they don't like me. They hate me. They no, 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 no. Put it off. Put on a new man. Because 3.23 of uh, Romans, when man sinned, he falls short of the glory of God. Listen to this. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness that he might be just and the just fire of the one who has faith in Jesus. Kumanga bonna bayo nona ne batatuka kuchitiwa cha katonda ne baba kwa mutukirifu kwa buwa lwachi sache olwa kununuli kwa okuli mu Kristo Yesu katonda kwa yasawo okubo mutango olwa kukiriza omusayi gwe okula kwa mutukirifu bwe Ulo kule kebibi ebya kule buangeda, katonda nga gumi ikiriza. Ukula kwa mtu kilifu uwe, mubilo bino. Ali ukabila mtu kilifu, elanga uwa mtu kilifu, akiriza yesu. So, the simple interpretation of this scripture. Kale nenzifu unule nyangu ya cha wandiki wachino. It is in that when man sinned, became short in size on the scripture. He ran short of God's abilities. Provision is. Or whatever would give him the ability to take care of God's estate. Which God designed to give him. In Genesis 1.28, he ran short of such blessings, ability, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. So your situation today, let's rush to 128 and understand it clearly. Then God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth, subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Katonda naba wa mukisa. Katonda naba gamba nti, mweyonge renga, mwalenga, mujizensi, mujidie, mufugenge vya mnyanja, nebibuka wakulu, na budi echili nobu lamu, echi tambula kunsi. So the issue now, you have a business. Katia nsonge liwo, olina business. Your ability to multiply the capital you put in the business. Obusomo zibu, obuku bazamu kapito kuwateka mu business. You have run short of that ability to go be the glory. Your ability to multiply 
in whatever you started, whether a company, you want to get money and build your house, you want to get money and set up your projects, so your ability in multiplying whatever money you had put in the company so that you can get profits to do your projects, you have run short. This is what the Bible says. When man sinned, he falls short of the glory of God. The blessings. Again, 128 Genesis. Then God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Over whatever God gave you, whether wisdom, knowledge, understanding, whatever gift God gave to you, He wants it to be multiplied so that you can dominate. Whether you had one supermarket, whether you have one saloon, God is so good and he wishes you to have ten saloons. I wish you well in whatever you are doing, in whatever you put your hand. Let it multiply in Jesus' holy name. God is not your enemy. He is on your side. He wants you to dominate in business. He wanted you to dominate in your career, in your marriage, in all whatever you are doing. God wishes you well. Begin to dominate in your finances. Begin to dominate in whichever area and whatever you have touched, my prayer today, begin to dominate. That is the will of God. It is his will that you dominate. It is his will that you multiply. It is his will that you become number one. It is his will that you develop. It is his will that you are healthy spiritually and physically to go be the good. It is the will of God that you are healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. Because if you are sick, you cannot conduct the estate of God. You cannot take care of it very well because you cannot move well. So whatever stop you from conducting and taking care of the estate of God be removed in Jesus' holy name. That obstacle, that sickness, that hardship, that affliction, in your body, in your business, in your marriage, in your relationship, be removed in Jesus' holy name. This is the gospel of our Lord and Savior Christ. Jesus. Because 316 of John, now that man ran short of the provision. Then the 316 of John, God sent his only begotten son ha, 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 as a provider to take care of all whatever man could need to go be the glory, could need to dominate. He came to supply and to make sure that all whatever God gave you will be for everlasting. Whether blessing, everlasting. Whether life, everlasting. Whether peace, everlasting. To God be the glory. We have a Father in heaven. Our Father. <laughs> Don't joke.
Father in heaven, he has sent his son Jesus to be the provider. Let his will be done in your life. Not the will of the people. Those are their wishes. <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen. Let the will of God be done in your life. As it is in heaven. And he said, give us this day our daily bread. That was an example. Our daily blessings. Our daily power. Our daily authority. Our daily ability. May you receive your daily blessing. Daily ability which you had lost. Daily provision. All this he has sent Christ Jesus. 316 of John. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Kubanga katonda we ayaga lensibwati no kuwayo na wayo omwana we eyazali bomuyeka buli muntu yenna amukiriza alemo kubula ne yabere no bulamu obutagwawo everlasting blessing emikise jitagwawo everlasting peace emirembe jitagwawo why should i bother ngalwa chine dalikirira to go be the glory he has sent his son Christ Jesus atume mtabani wa Kristo Yesu to be the provider abelenga yemugabirizi and if you open your Bible, in John 14, 13 and 14, we are required to ask his son. In his name, he said, whatever you shall ask, as regards to the provisions, I will provide, so that my father may be given glory. Why shouldn't I ask what I want? My prayer today, may you receive all whatever you are asking from God. May you receive all whatever you had lost. May everything which you didn't get in life, may you receive it. Whatever you lost, be it your business, be it your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, blessing, be restored in Jesus. We have a Father in heaven. It's so good. We have a Father. <laughs>
Why not you and me? To go be the groom. I'm reading 14, 13 and 14 of John. And whatever you ask in my name that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Now, God knew that you are lacking something. God knew and he knows you had lost something. That is why he sent his son Christ Jesus to restore all whatever you lost. To give you all whatever you are required to get in order to dominate. Now begin to dominate. May your prayer be granted. Your prayer be granted. I say your prayer request be granted. Your prayer request be granted. May God give you the grace. Are you sick today? May your prayer request be granted. Receive healing in Jesus' name. God wants to see you alive and well. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. You have a situation you are going through which is bitter. Let it turn to be bitter by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. That bitter situation, let it turn into better. That problem, let it turn into a solution. For with God, all things are possible. Luke 137, our Father in heaven, He loves you. He loves Kakande. By the way, Kakande is inviting you. John 2024. It will be a night prayer. Aya Kakande would like to speak to you. He wants to hear from you. Hey, it will be a great day. Viewers over the world. Kakande is alive and well. Don't worry, don't worry. You meet him. Viewers over the world. I'm waiting for you that day. There will be many miracles. Many wonders. Many prophecies. Do you want to hear? What is going on in your life? Hey, hey, come on, ask Kakande. Kakande. To go be the girl. So we are in Luke 1. We can start from 36. Now indeed Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. Laba. Elizabeth Muganda wo era ye ali rubuto lwa mwana wa bulenzi mu bukadde bwe guno gwe mwezi gwe ogwo mukaga eyaitibwa ngo mugumba kubanga tewali kigambe kiveri katonda ekiri bulwa amanyi he said be healed yakaba muonyeze bwe that cannot fail echo te kisobola kulemererwa i said be healed ugambe wonyeze bwa i said be healed ugamba wonyeze bwa are you sick today? Is it headache? Is it stomach? Is it backache? Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. The healing of your heart. The healing of your chest. 
the healing of your stomach, the healing of your legs, the healing of your back. I say, be healed. 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 The mighty name of Jesus. Whatever spirit is turning against your life. Be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. We remove that evil spirit that stands against your life. God wants you to dominate in business. That spirit troubling your business be removed in Jesus name. That spirit troubling your home be removed in Jesus name. That spirit troubling your marriage be removed Moved in Jesus' holy name. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. That spirit troubling your life. Ow. 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 That sickness troubling your body. Ow. 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 Be healed. To go be the glory. Our Father in heaven. To go be the glory. to ask him our Father in heaven or whatever be your request or whatever you demand in life or whatever you were required in order to dominate begin to receive it now ask him whichever area you've run short begin now to ask him the provider Jesus Christ he has been sent from heaven. He said, whatever you want, he will do it. Begin prayer. He is here to provide. He loves you. Prayer, prayer. Can I hear praying? Prayer. Those boys. Receive the blessing, Jesus. Name. Viewers over the world, may your request be granted. May your request be granted. Don't forget to pray for the whole world. Don't forget to pray for Jerusalem. 
uh, whatever is going on in the Middle East. And I told you when it will cool down. If you can remember that prophecy, that by the time of uh, August, mm, the situation will be cold. You watch and see. Our Father in heaven. Father in Christ Jesus, Father, we pray for the peace over Middle East, over Palestine and Israel, over Russia and Ukraine. Father, provide peace. Let there be an understanding. Father, let them sit on the table. Viewers of the world, peace in your country, but mostly peace in your heart. That you receive peace, the peace from heaven, the peace from Christ. May our Father bless you. Viewers of the world, receive the blessing in Jesus' name. May your request be granted. Because our Father loves us. Our Father in heaven loves you and loves Kakani. Let his will be done in your life. His will is for you to dominate, to succeed, to break through. May you begin to dominate. May you begin to succeed. May you begin to break through. In the name of Jesus Christ.